Hey, what is up guys? It is Anthony from Art Paranormal Oasis. And uh, as you can tell, or maybe not, um, we're in the Donner Tunnels. Uh, this is tunnel number six. Um, I think they said it was 1,697 feet long. Um, it took them a little, a little over, I think it was like 18 months to complete this tunnel. Uh, there were, I want to see, between like 13 to 15,000 uh, people working uh, on this to make, you know, to, to bore all this out. And like 13, 10 or 13,000 of them were uh, Chinese immigrants. Um, they worked in groups, uh, 30 to 40. Chinese laborers with one white um, supervisor. Uh, from what I was reading online, they had one group start at the east end, or on the west end, another group down on the east end, and they started making their way um, toward each other. Uh, I figured out that that wasn't working, so. I thought I saw something off to the side. Um, they said that wasn't working out, so what they did is they had another group, uh, two groups up there, they made, they uh, blasted down, so they had literally two groups in the middle of this, one working to the west, one working to the east, and uh, they actually said once everything was done and complete, like they were pretty close being accurate as far as uh, the lay of the land on the tunnel. Um, there are a total of uh, 15 tunnels up here. I said this is uh, tunnel number six. This is the one I wanted to focus on uh, during our investigation tonight. Um, the, the conditions up here, uh, they said were really, really bad. Um, they had a really bad first winter up here. And they said um, upwards of 40 feet of snow. Uh, fell up here. Um, they had little, uh, kind of like little shacks that they lived in. And I said these shacks would be like a mile apart from each other. And that's where all the uh, Chinese laborers would um, sleep in. There were like 15 men to a shack. Um, they had numerous ones set up. Some were um, shacks were used for storage for like their tools and stuff like that. Um, other ones said they were powerhouses, um, a kitchen, a place to eat, places to sleep. Um, they also had stables up here uh, for the horses, the oxen, and uh, the mules um, to be able to cart the, their, all their supplies up here, but also to cart rocks and stuff out of the tunnels. Um, the way they did that, is they pretty much, I mean, they, all this was done by hand. Uh, they would have three workers in here, two would hold, um, uh, hold a drill bit. Another guy had an eight pound sledgehammer and he would just sit there and just smack it. So he'd smack it, they'd turn it a quarter turn, smack it, flip it a quarter turn, and just keep going until they got to about two and a half feet. And once they got that two and a half feet hole punch, they would fill it full of black powder, and then they would have another hole right next to it, um, about a quarter of an inch deep, and that's where they would put the nitroglycerin. Um, the, the first hole that had the black powder in, they put a fuse in there, they pack it with um, sand, with clay, with hay, they light the fuse, fire in the hole, everybody get out, Boom, the explosion comes off. The next, like 12 guys come in here and they're just picking these rocks out of my hand, putting them in baskets, putting them in carts, um, taking them out or hoisting them up through the top of the, the, uh, the summit and then just dumping the rocks on the side of the mountain. Uh, some of the rocks that they did haul out of here, um, they used to build uh, what they, uh, the China Wall, which is just on uh, the end of tunnel six and I think 
I think it's between seven and eight. Uh, I'm not sure. But people that have come up here and hiked up here, like I mean, you can see it during the daytime. This this place is awesome. Um, you can see there's water uh, through here. It just snowed yesterday, so there was we had to walk through a little bit of snow. It was nothing like too crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, a lot of the things um, that the, the laborers had to deal with, obviously the cold, even in the summertime, you're up in here and this this first tunnel is just, you're freezing. Especially if the wind's blowing, like then it's really cold. Um, but they had to deal with the cold, they had to deal with ammonia, they had to deal with uh, disease, um, they had to deal with uh, frostbite, um, they had to deal with rock slides and avalanches. Um, they did lose uh, some some of their their team. Uh, woke up one morning, had an avalanche. Looked over, and there were a few shacks that were missing. They got pushed on down the hill, and they didn't recover the bodies until the springtime. Once they recovered the bodies and they found them, uh, they found that some of the men were still sitting there frozen dead with uh, their tools still on their hand. Um, so there was, like I said, there was a lot, a lot going on up here. Um, they used the Chinese laborers because they couldn't get enough um, white laborers up here to do the job. They wanted too much money. Um, they figured the, the Chinese, um, they could pay them a lower wage. Oh, that freaked me out. I saw that at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Um, they made, uh, I think they said they started out at like $28 a month, um, is what they made uh, working on these tunnels. Um, the white laborers uh, were making 35 The white laborers also um, had their uh, room and board paid for um, by the railroad. And at that railroad um, at the time, uh, was the Transcontinental? Pacific Railroad and the other railroad with the Union Pacific Railroad. So the Transcontinental was working from um, the West Coast moving east. The Union Pacific was working from the East Coast working to the West. Um, they had a deal laid out between the two. The more track that was laid, um, the more money those people would make. Uh, The trips. Yeah, because it sounds like footsteps. It's like, oh. Um, but yeah, I mean, they they had to deal with a lot. Um, some of them, uh, once they were done here, like they would get robbed. Um, they would take, get all their money stolen. Um, they'd be murdered, like because they were just looked down upon. Wasn't somebody that you know we thought, hey, we're better than you, and that's how a lot of that happened back back in that day. Uh, but this tunnel here, um, I want to say it's 19 feet high, uh, 16 feet wide, and like I said, it took them a little over 18 months uh, to complete this tunnel. Uh, the best day they ever had uh, working on this, um, they did 20. 24 inches or 27 inches in one day. And that's like the best day they ever had. They said on the average, um, they would make a progress of 14 inches a day um, and use up to 300 pounds um, of black powder a day. Uh, the conditions up here, like I said, there no electricity, no power. Um, so they either had headlamps that they had to use or they had to use candles. Uh, a lot of them, especially during the winter time, um, went weeks uh, without seeing um, the outside, seeing the sun. Um, there was no ventilation in these tunnels, so once they, you know, you get in there and you blast it, they're having to inhale um, rock dust and black powder residue. So, you know, that's not, yeah, it's not OSHA approved. Like that'd be pretty, some pretty crappy conditions to have that to work in. Uh, they ran into the problem because there was so much snow up here. Some of the storms that came up here would drop up to six feet of snow. 
and they would end up building these little tunnel systems um, into the snow and they had little um, rooms like room here room here some of them were anywhere from 50 feet up to 200 feet long uh, and they would actually end up pulling whatever material that they were blasting that day through these little snow tunnels and they'd make a window in one of them and then just just dump all the, uh, the rock and everything right on the side of that. Um, they'd have the reinforcement throughout the day, you know, so it didn't cave in. Um, but they lost, it says anywhere from 500 to 1,000 uh, workers up here. Now, I don't know if that was both um, Chinese and white, but I'm, I'm pretty sure a majority of it was uh, for Chinese laborers. Um, I have a spirit talker app right there. I don't have it set up and running yet. But then I've got seven or eight of these little cat balls set up. So hopefully, maybe we can get a little interaction um, once we get this spirit box, uh, this uh, spirit app going. Maybe it will kind of bring some things to light. It is cold uh, in here, obviously. Like, I'm freezing, she's freezing. It's supposed to get down to like 19 degrees tonight. Here we go. Is there anybody in here with us? Were you maybe one of the, um, the supervisors? that oversaw the Chinese laborers, or maybe you're one of the, the Chinese laborers yourself. Can you come talk to us? I know, it's just super quiet. It's like, I don't want to talk. I have these little... There's one behind your foot. Mm -hmm. See the light glistening off of it, or is that a rock? Anthony. Oh, there Ridicule? No, I'm not here to ridicule you. See this little ball right here on the ground? I've got a few of these set up in either direction. Uh, I got another one. So, right there. Can you come near either one of those and uh, set these off? Who is speaking? Uh, my name is Anthony. Who am I talking to? Can you give us your name? Nope, it went off. Yeah. Are you standing right next to me right now? Yeah, because that thing shouldn't be going off like that. Well, it cut off and then it went right back on. There, there oh. it goes again. Thank you. Do you like that? Do you like that ball right there? Can you step away from that and make it go off, please? All right, now can you come near that? Can you light that up again? You don't have to be afraid of that. That's just gonna allow another tool that I have so I can communicate with you. We've got another one over here to my left. And then I've got a few more going down that way past this light. So I introduced myself. Can you introduce yourself? Can you tell me who you are? Can you give me your name, please? I love how the sound just carries. There it goes. Oh, hello. Welcome back. Do you not like this device that I have in my hand? If you don't like that device that I have in my hand, can you make that ball light up again? There it went. Thank you. Stewart. Stewart. Maybe Stewart was one of the one of the supervisors. I don't know, maybe because they're one of the Chinese laborers. Were you did, Stewart, did you work in these tunnels? Were you part of the thirteen the fifteen thousand laborers that worked up here? 
Yeah. This is really cool. I prefer to have <laughs> interactions like this. Hey, Stuart, if, if that's you playing this ball, up, can you come over here? Can you pass in front of me? Please? Thank you. And can you come light this ball up right here? This one to my left? I'm very happy. Oh, I'm very happy too. Do you, do you like that ball? I'm happy that you're talking to us. I'm sure you get a lot of people that pass through here, you know, through the day, but I'm sure none of them actually sit there and try and communicate with you. Can you do me a favor, Stuart? Can you, like I said, can you come? Can you light this ball up here? Over here on the left? Or maybe, you know, better yet, maybe you can walk with me. And we can walk down right over here. Right over here. Here. Now I put you saw me put this down that mm -hmm. It was off. Mm -hmm. and I, 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 can you come on down next to it? Can you follow me? Can you just come right down the path? What did it say? It said bodies below. That I don't know. Because I'm sure some of them they just I'm, I'm sure they did a proper here. Can you come all the way down here to this last this last two? something similar to what you guys use uh, to work in these tunnels back in the day. Feel free to be able to, to light any of these balls up to let us know that, that you're here. If there's more than one of you here, can I get however many people are here with us, how many of our spirits are here? Can I get you guys to light up more than one of these balls? I promise they're just lights, they're not gonna hurt you. Like I said, it's just another way that we can communicate with you. So what is it about the dead that you want me to know? What is it that you want to tell us? You know what? I'm going to 
set this down. So if you want to come up and check this out without coming near me, I will set it right here. Associate. Associate. Yes, she is more than my associate. She's my other half. She's helping me document all this. Her name is Whitney. Can you tell her hello? Um, I'm going to keep this running. At the same time, I'm going to do an EVP session. And uh, we're going to see if we get any responses. While we're doing this, I'm going to show you. Set this right here in the rock. So, EVP session number one, uh, it's Anthony and Whitney, and we are in tunnel number six, uh, up here in the Donner Tunnels. Caroline. Caroline or Caroline? Caroline. Nice to meet you, Caroline. My name is Anthony. And that's what we if there's anybody else in here with us, can you talk into that device sitting there on the rock to let us know that you're here? Can you give us a name? Were you one of the Chinese immigrants? or Chinese laborers um, that worked in this tunnel. Can you tell me where you're at? You can come talk into this device right here. I'm gonna sit down on the rock. You can come whisper in my ear, or you can talk into that, that digital recorder right there. My name is Helen. Nice to meet you, Helen. So we got Helen and Caroline and Stewart. I would assume that most of the laborers that were up here were male, but I could be wrong. Or you know what, they could be Members of the Donner Party, too. Were you members of the Donner Party that we're talking to? Were you associated with that group? Did you guys die up here on the pass trying to make it um, over to California? Or maybe it was from California to Nevada. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to let this keep playing. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop this to draw over here. Where? Can you make a noise to let me know where you're at? Could you possibly throw a rock? I'm going to stop the digital recorder and we're going to play this back and see if hopefully maybe we got a response. Group. Yeah, I heard that there were, that you guys worked in groups of uh, 30 to 40 people. Uh, one of you guys worked on uh, blasting this tunnel. Feel free to whisper. Come whisper right in my ear. Now we'll give you a rule. You're allowed to come and talk to me. You're allowed to whisper to me. You can touch me. You can throw something at me. But you're not allowed to do anything to my camera person. 
You're not allowed to do anything to my girlfriend over there, my associate. You need to leave her alone. I don't know if I like using this camera. It's definitely clear, but it gets blurry every time you move. Every time I move? Mm-hmm. Like even just moving your head whenever you were talking, it would blur your face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are. We did change it up. Normally we shoot on my iPad, but when we were at the clown motel, it kind of looked a little grainy. So we decided to go change it up and we're actually filming this on my uh, Galaxy S21. Not sponsored by them. Hmm? You were not sponsored by them. Bodies below. Second Bodies time. Below again. Were you buried near here? Or maybe you're buried right below us right now? So, like, in P session number one, that is Anthony and Whitney, and we are in tunnel number six, uh, up here in the Donner Tunnels. I think it said hemorrhoid. <laughs> I thought it said, yeah, right. <laughs> I was like, that's my type of response. My name is Anthony. That's good. If there's anybody else in here with us, can you talk into that device sitting there in the rock to let us know that you're here? Can you give us a name? Chinese immigrants or Chinese laborers uh, that worked in this town. Can you tell me where you're at? What's that click? That was weird because it was right next to this and you saw it. Mm -hmm. I want to play it all over again. But when I asked if you remember the Donner Party, I thought I heard a response on here. Maybe we'll play it back once. Sure. Sure. Oh, 
female man. Did you kick the ball? Huh? Did you just kick the ball? No. I swear to God, I didn't kick the ball. Also, it appears there's a mist coming over the camera every now and then. I think it's my breath, but I can't recreate it just from keeping my mouth closed and just exhaling through my nose. Uh, and I haven't breathed down my... Charlotte Stewart, if that was you, can you light that ball up again? Right here? If that was me kicking the ball, can you light that ball up? I didn't think I did. No, no, we can go back and look at it. I mean, I'm sure I walked by it, but... Mm -hmm. I'm trying to watch where I'm walking. And you can see I'm walking past it. And it's not, it's not hard enough. Okay. Yeah, the mist, it is me blowing out. It's whenever the wind takes my mm -hmm. breath across in front of the camera. That's good though. It's good to be able to like kind of mm -hmm. debunk as you go. Well, what made me start paying attention is whenever you were down there in the dark, I had the camera pointing that way, and the whole screen just went white. Went white? Went white. Huh. And I was like, okay, so I was yeah, like, well, maybe, but I haven't been able to recreate that. Standing behind you. If you're standing behind me? If you're standing behind me, light this ball up. Or this one over here. This is almost where I wish we had another, uh, like another phone. Mm -hmm. And then that way I can take pictures of mine. Kind of like what we did at the uh, sprinkler. What? Lee Sprinkler. Babe. Your shadow is probably going to be in it because of this light. That was her. you taking steps no I swear I just heard a voice right down there hmm. so 
So Sandra said that was her. Can you can you come say something? Can you yell so we can hear you? Can you say hello to us? Or can you walk in front of our camera, please, so we can get your picture? Because if you'd like to have your picture taken, come down here. Come stand in front of our camera so we can take your picture. Every time you've mentioned taking a picture or walking in front of a camera, it says her. Should I take a picture of her? I'm not sure how well it's going to do since... Oh, okay, let's go. Let's see. Love it. Sorry. Ah. My cool little headlamp and all. What kind of sounds do you want to make? Can you make a, a walking sound? Can you walk towards this? Can you do that? Or maybe you can run towards this? Maybe we can hear you using your tools. Climbing away. In my Maybe pocket. Drill holes to, to blast this rock out of here. Eli. Eli. Hello, Eli. Do you know Stuart and Sandra and Helen and Caroline? Do you all know each other? No, that's not dark. That's good. Are you spiritual people? Uh. I'm <laughs> Well, you're almost at 40 minutes if you want to. How much? 40. Thank you. 
Mm-hmm. Hello? Is that you, Francis? Can you do me a favor, Francis? Can you light this ball up again? Can you do that for me? Or can you light it up? Any one of these other ones except for that one? starting to get shakier. Hmm? So I'm starting to get shakier. Cold? Uh-huh. That's not what I heard. <laughs> um, I said AVP session number two, tunnel number six. Whoever's speaking to us, can you come and talk to this device over here by the lantern? We got the names Stuart, um, Donald, Caroline, Helen. No, it would not. It'd be cool for you, but I'd be headed out. Can uh, can can you tell me what your name is? Can you tell us what your name is in this device right here? Or maybe you can tell us your age. Can you do that? Do you know? That you're dead. Do you know that you've passed on? Death is not the end. <laughs> death is not the end. What has death been like for you in the afterlife? Like, I know I can see. Whitney, and Whitney can see me, but we can't see you guys. Are you able to see the other people that you're with? See, that's one thing I always wondered about. You know, like, 
we go on with our daily you know, chores, our tasks, day to day. Um, I feel hopeless. Why do you feel hopeless? But like, like, can they see us? Like, we try, we want to see them. That's why we're out here doing this. Um, but like, can they see us? Or are they going about their daily chores or tasks that they were they were doing when they were alive? Which we call it residual haunting. Um, and tell you haunting is like the responses we get with the the cat balls or say the app. I lost one of my legs. How did you lose your leg? Was it one of the accidents here while you were working on the Mrs. Tunnels? Can you give me a yes or a no on that one? Did you lost your, your leg while working in these tunnels? Can you make this either one of these? Okay, well, can you make it right up? I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna play this back. Or we're gonna listen to it. EVP session number two. Nice hat. EVP session number two. I'm just saying nice. It's a nice hat. Thank you. Is that you like my hat? Two men here. Um, that's an EVP session number two. Two men. That's funny because we got two men. Stuart Dollar. Can you come and talk to this device over here by the way? Talking about it, we were talking about it here, and then we just got a response on that and on that. And there it goes again. Thank you. What has death been like for you in the afterlife? Like, I know, I can see. I don't even know. Wait, wait, wait. We can't see you guys. Are you able to see the other people that you're with? Talked about death on here. Talked about death on there, and then that didn't come off. That thing we in the cat ball. Cat ball. There it goes again. There it goes again. They like that cat ball. It does. There's something about the hair. Mm hmm. Doorway. This is the doorway to a to another place. Hope it's going off again. 
Baltimore No, just one. Is just it Nope, it's just the one that's been going off. The one next to it's not going off. There it goes again. It's just one. I moved where I'm lined up better with them. Uh-huh. He fucking loves it. That middle one still hasn't went off. This is funny. Did this you, is funny. You think this is funny? It's, it's still going. I've, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight balls right there. <laughs> it's still going to turn off. What is up? It's just loving that. Mm -hmm. Can you step away from that, please? Thank you. Now, can you light more than one of those up? Can you do that? Because you think this is hilarious, which kind of is. Go ahead and light them up again. I put them all closer together because you kind of seem like you're just like right in this one area. I'll have to go stop them for the next one. Oh, this is kind of normal. No. Oops, sorry, people. Sorry. Oh, come on over. Come on in. Come on, light one of those up. Light them all up. I will make you a deal right now. If you can light up. At least three. Brilliant. Brilliant. If you can light up at least three of these cat balls, we'll leave right now. We'll, we'll, we'll like get out of your business. Can you do that for us, please? Can you light at least three of those up? We know you can do the middle one. Absolutely love that. Do I need to go back to my other spot? You can muster whatever energy it is you need. To. Head. It's a hand. Oh, hand? Yeah. I'm being close enough to read yeah. it and I got you it wrong. Can, you can use your hand to move one of those or make a light up. Feel free. My hand's cold. Are you talking about my hand? Missing finger? It wasn't a mining accident. This would be a mine, <laughs> No. This is a railroad. It's a railroad. Okay. Right. No. No. It's like I'm all done. The people out there that think this is some fake crap or it's off of the internet, my phone, it's in, one, it's in airplane mode for one. And come on. I mean, to get responses like that, I liked the toys. I mean, oh, that is just cool as shit. You want to play with the toys some more before we leave? Yeah. You can light it up two more times. If we don't light it up two more times, then we're going to leave. Ooh. 
A little ball. A little ball right there. I want to play with that. If you want to give that a push. Innocent. Innocent. That's funny because earlier I said kill me. Uh -huh. Okay, we're all innocent here. Feel free, like I said. Light up, light up those balls up. Well, I'll step away. And you didn't want me near you when you played with your toys. <laughs> you can light that middle of it. It does. Can you light up any other of those cat balls except the middle one? We could have a real party if you light all of them up. Right? I told it two more times before we went. Yep. Sorry, told them. Can you, or maybe they said it can light up more than one. Can you light up more than one of those? Please? Hurry, please. But you did say two more times. I did. Yeah. So I guess that's our our uh, our ending for tonight. Our ending for the night. So uh, yeah. So hopefully you guys like this video uh, a little bit better. Um, I like doing videos like this, but like this because yes, over here. Yeah, over there. Do you, you like them over there? They're right there. Right there. That little cluster. Um, I like being able to do these videos for you guys um, to give you history uh, on the location. Um, like I said, it's it's not like some of the other videos you see up here. It's like, oh, oh my God, look, there's a skinwalker. Come on, yes, you want views, but for me, it's, it's this is the real shit. You know, we're not. Nothing's getting thrown at us. Nothing's running down the tunnel trying to kill us. It's not a demon. It's it's protected by God, is what they said. Yeah, which is awesome. They like to interact with us. We're not being disrespectful. We're being very respectful. Um, but yeah, so hopefully, like I said, this video as I put more out, each one will get better and better. Um, stay tuned. Because shortly after this video comes out, or actually it's the next video, um, or the, the tunnel pot, uh, great here. Um, so shortly after the release of that one, uh, we're gonna have a little announcement. Uh, play. Play, please, play with us. That's why I brought them. Uh, but we're gonna have an announcement on, uh, most likely it's gonna be TikTok. Um, so stay tuned to that in two weeks. It'll be a big announcement. Um, we're kind of rebranding everything right now. Um, we're still going to be our paranormal oasis, but Whitney, who's behind the camera, um, came up with a new design uh, for our logo. You can check it out right now on YouTube. I say that now because we haven't even done anything for the video, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you guys know I don't edit my videos. Uh, when I put them out there, I put out the whole thing. So I'm not trying to pull the wool over your eyes. I'm not trying to, you know, add stuff that isn't there. What you see is what you get. Either we get stuff or we don't get stuff. But more times than not, we do get stuff. Now lately with the digital recorder, no, I don't get shit on that thing. But everything else, the app, the cat balls, like, that's pretty cool. That works for me. Um, so we're going to wrap this up. We're going to gather all our gear, and we're going to trek back to the, the car. And, and I'm going to hand you over to Anthony, and he'll take you on a tour of his gear and show you phones on airplane mode and everything. We're going to go back to the car and drink some hot chocolate. <laughs> oh, Whitney, put your hands in her. <laughs>
in our sleeves. So, what did that say? What the hell it is? Oh, Julia. But yeah, there's the phone. The Spirit Talker app. Just a little toy that I keep in the in there for who knows to play with. The cat balls that obviously whatever's here loves to play with, whether it be Stuart. And then there's another light down there to help illuminate everything. Because the first time I came down here, shot a video, was super unprepared as far as how dark everything was. I'm in the house. <laughs> what are you doing in the house? We're going to the house. You can't be in the house. You got to stay here. You can't come with us. As much as I would like you to come home with us, you got to stay here. So that way, the next group that comes, you can be here for them, and maybe they'll bring you some more cat toys you can play with. So, uh, yeah, guys, um, I said stay tuned. Um, like I said, we're trying to put out at least one video like every two weeks, uh, just to try to get our subscriber numbers up. We're trying to get to a thousand. Uh, I think we're at 649 right now, and I'm sitting at like a little over 1700 on TikTok. Uh, but this has been fun. It's been a good night. Um, we got some good responses. Um, got a little bit of history, and it's a cool location. Like, you don't get to see stuff like this every day. Like, these tunnels are, like, I think over 150 years old. I think they completed them back in 1868. So, if you look way down there at the end, you can actually see uh, the moonlight uh, in the tunnel. So, that's kind of cool. But we're going to wrap it up. Um, this Anthony and Whitney, they said from. This one was. From, uh, this one was off. Was it? Uh, this is Anthony and Whitney from Our Paranormal Oasis, and we will. Candles. S candles. candles. Kind of light candles it's a lantern um and we'll see you guys on the flip side so uh thanks for hanging out with us and uh i hope you guys enjoy this video because we had fun making it and i said hopefully you guys uh hopefully you guys enjoy this so uh, we'll talk to you guys later all right bye footstep. yep that was a footstep that was whitney can you make footsteps can you just skip on down? Can you guide us out of here? It's almost Halloween time. Okay. See you guys later. Bye.